Hey, how's it going everybody? Coach John here, and today we're gonna to be doing a little bowling. Uh, you'll need a couple things. One, you need a little bit of space. I'm going to be bowling on some concrete, but those for those of you who have wood floors or tiles or a driveway or anything is perfect. Uh, but you guys can roll it if you got grass in your yard, if you got carpet on your floors, that's perfectly fine. No big deal. Uh, second thing you're gonna need is parental permission before you go rolling anything in the house or taking taking things from uh, anyone in the house. Parent, parent or guardian permission is a must. Um, but yeah, the third thing you need is you need your bowling ball. So I got two bowling balls and which are actually rolled up socks here. And if you got uh, some tennis balls or, you know, socks and tennis balls would probably be best for an activity like this. Uh, if you could think of anything else, you please let me or Coach K know and then I will add that to the next video for something. Um, but yeah, so you need your you need your bowling balls, which I got for socks. They're mismatched. That's all right. And you need pins. And this is important. I'm using plastic cups. Uh, you can use anything at home. Water bottles, uh, cups, um, hydro flasks are fine. Uh, just make sure that you're not using anything that could possibly break if it falls on your tile floor or your concrete floor, wood floor, whatever. So just please be careful. Use discretion. But like I said, uh, ask a parent or guardian before you attempt any of this and they will, I'm sure, give you something that will not break when you uh, roll your bowling ball. So uh, that's enough of me talking, let's get started. All right, everybody, now that we're set up on our lane, I'm on my concrete slab here. We have our three pins set up. I have one that's in the front and two that are in the back. So with that said, with our two bowling balls, we are trying to knock all three of these pins down, but we want to do it in one toss. That would be preferred. But unfortunately, that doesn't always happen. So that's why in bowling, you get two throws anyway. If you, if you, hit, uh, if you hit your pins on your first roll down the lane, that's called a strike. If, you, if it takes you to your second throw and then you get them all on the second toss, or on the second roll, I'm sorry, then it is called a spare. So, I'm bowling for a strike here. So let's see what happens. I'm gonna take a few steps back like this, and then I'm a, I, I am a left-handed bowler. So with that said, I take my left hand, I center it, I'm focused, I swing it back. As I'm swinging it back, I step with my opposite leg. So I step with my right leg, and then I roll it down the lane. See, I only hit one cup there. That's okay. That's why we have the second bowling ball. So, I'm gonna give it a second roll. I'm gonna swing my arm all the way back, take a step forward like so. And there it is. So, that was a little bit far away, so let me quick show you guys the mechanics for bowling. So, we take our bowling ball like so, we hold it in our hand, our palm, the palm of our hand is facing us. So the palm of my hand is facing me, I'm holding it like this, and then I swing my arm back. While I'm looking, I'm looking at you guys just for the sake of this, while I'm looking at my target, I swing my arm back while stepping with the other leg, and I roll. So, let's see everybody try this at home. And hopefully you guys have better luck than me and get them all on the first try. Good luck. 